Ever wondered what it would feel like to be a human rocket, blasting off into the great unknown? Fiery explosions, millions of dollars, and the raw power of Mother Nature herself hurling you into the cosmos. This is the reality of space tourism. It's not a joyride for the rich and famous, it's an experiment and you could be the guinea pig. Imagine reaching into your pocket and pulling out a quarter of a million dollars, that's your ticket for a suborbital flight. But wait, there's more. Add months of rigorous training to handle crushing G-forces, emergency procedures, and coping with the less-than-glamorous side effects of space travel. And don't forget insurance. Because space, quite frankly, wants to kill you. What's the appeal, you ask? Suborbital flights offer a few minutes of weightlessness, bragging rights, and a view of Earth that'll make your Instagram followers green with envy. But if you're in for the long haul, orbital trips are where it's at. Imagine spending days circling our blue planet watching 16 sunrises and sunsets in a single day. But remember, even with top-tier tourist accommodations, you could be shelling out $55 million to stare at screens and run experiments. Space travel isn't without risks. Even short flights can expose you to radiation, which can mess up your DNA. Then there's bone and muscle loss, and the delightful prospect of space anemia. Your space vacation might end with a trip to the hospital. The astronauts make it sound poetic, but the science tells another story. That life-changing perspective shift, the overview effect, isn't a guarantee. Studies are split. Some people feel awe while others experience profound loneliness. You might spend millions to feel small. Weightlessness and the view are the main attractions, but space is an unforgiving place. Your body starts fighting you the moment you leave Earth's atmosphere. Space adaptation syndrome, isolation, recycled air, eating out of pouches, it's not exactly a luxury vacation, Orbit can disrupt your circadian rhythm worse than any jet lag. Weaker bones, fluid shifting in your head, changes in your eyesight, you might return a changed person and not just mentally. Investing millions in a spaceflight might not guarantee a mind-blowing experience. Some astronauts return with a new perspective while others feel detached, even depressed. Maybe that flight money could be better spent? Space tech can end up in everyday products. Studying human limits in orbit can inform medical science. But is sending a handful of wealthy people on joy rides justified while our planet is in crisis? What if we invested that money into affordable renewable energy instead? Space tourism, a gamble, a potential breakthrough, or just a distraction for the ultra-rich? There's no easy answer, but remember, space is always trying to kill you, and it's pretty good at it. Share your thoughts in the comments. If you want more deep dives into the hidden costs of the future, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video far and wide, it's time for a reality check.